have to be historically accurate. Now, in the actual writing of the book, you have to make it accessible to modern readers as far as language is concerned. Um, and even some of the choices characters make, some of the moral choices they make, are unfamiliar. And some readers argue, you know, he wouldn't have done that or she wouldn't have done that. But I always try to make sure that the answer is yes, they would, living in that world. Again, you have to make it somehow sympathetic to modern readers, but I try as far as I possibly can to, to stick to the model of Jane Austen or you know, whatever else I've read set in, in Regency England, um, while at the same time trying to make it real and acceptable to modern readers. If you use the language of someone like Jane Austen, Modern readers very often can't understand it. The sentences are very long, the whole structure of the sentence is very involved. Um, the language is a little more elevated than modern language. And I know as a teacher that uh, some of my brightest students had a hard time with Jane Austen. They couldn't understand it. Um, so even though I would like to use that English, I can't. I have to use modern English. So it's like a, it's like a tightrope, tightrope walking act. Uh, you, know, you want to get up there to, to Regency English and yet you want to be accessible to 20th century readers. I think being British helps too. Um, you know, I already have a British voice which is different from a North American voice. So I think it's easier for me to, to write Regency novels than it is for, for Americans. I, I won't say I do it better. But I would say I have, I have it easier because I already have the voice.